Hello, in this video we're going to look at shortcut solutions to Cobb-Douglas utility maximization problems. This will be a nice way to double check your work. I don't think you necessarily would want to show these methods on an exam uh, where your teacher might expect you to solve this using a Lagrangian or setting up the uh, marginal utility per dollar maximization condition. But this is a great way, I think, to just double check your answers. All right, so here is a utility function, a Cobb-Douglas utility function written in general form, where units of good x are raised to the power of a, units of good y are raised to the power of b. And an important property of Cobb-Douglas utility functions is the following. The share of income spent on good x will be given by this, where a is what x is raised to, and b is what good y is raised to. The share of income spent on good y will be given by the following, b divided by a plus b. Okay, so let me show you how you can use this then. So say we have a utility function, x squared times y cubed, and let's try to find the utility maximizing consumption bundle. So the share of income spent on good x is just going to be 2 divided by 2 plus 3 and that is two-fifths, or 0 0.4. The share of income spent on good y is going to be 3 divided by 2 plus 3, or 0.6. Notice these two numbers should, they need to add to 1, uh, and they do here. So let's say, oh, one other thing I want to point out. If we had a number in front of here, 10, 20, 6, 0.5, it wouldn't change anything here. Okay, so it doesn't matter if there's a number here or not. Uh, if there's a constant being multiplied through this utility function, it will not change any of our answers. All right, so say we have an income of $100. A consumer has $100 of income. In the market, the price of good X is $2 a piece, and the price of good Y is $5 a piece. So the amount spent on good X is going to be 0.4 multiplied by 100, so this consumer will spend $40 on good X. How many units will the consumer buy? Well, if you're spending $40 on good X and the price of good X is $2 a piece, 40 divided by 2 means you'll buy 20 units of good X. For good Y, the amount spent on good Y, we're going to spend 60% of our income on good Y. We have $100, so 0.6 of 100 means we're going to spend $60 on good Y. How many units will be purchased? Taking that $60 and dividing it by the price of good Y, the consumer will buy 12 units of good Y. So this 20 and 12 represents the consumer's utility maximizing consumption bundle. Let's do one more example. Here we have a utility function where x is raised to 0.25 and y is raised to 0.5. So again, setting up the formula to get the share of income spent on good x, which is, was a divided by a plus b. We see consumer, this consumer will spend one-third of his or her income on good x and two-thirds of his or her income on good y. If the consumer, say, has $300 of income, price of good X is $10, price of good Y is $50, the amount spent on good X will be one-third times 300 or $100, so the consumer will spend $100 on good X. Since good X costs $10 a piece, the consumer can afford 10 units. The amount of income, uh, the amount spent on good Y is going to be two-thirds times the income or $200, so the consumer is spending $200 on good Y. Good Y is priced at $50 a piece, so the consumer will be able to buy four units of good Y. So this 10 and 4 represents the utility maximizing consumption bundle. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.